quite a bit here on Explosion over the last few weeks. He tangled with Rhino, he went to war with Jake something. Now he's walking into a matchup with a man who he has the size and power advantage against. Maybe this is the chance Shira needs to get the win column on this program. It is entirely possible for that to happen, but like I said, Trent Seven, he's here to send a message to Steve Macklin, who he'll face off against next week. If he can put away Shira, he's gonna make work. Steve now, of course, we are about a week's time away from No Surrender on Friday, February 23rd. It's the 17th No Surrender event live in New Orleans on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and you two far ultimate insiders. And don't forget, Saturday, February 24th, it's Bayou Blast in New Orleans. Tickets are on sale now at TNAWrestling.com. Can we get some beignets while we're down there? We should absolutely go to Cafe Du Monde. Shira to start things off here against Trent What's Seven up? early on. You can see the strength advantage here for Shira. And you talked about the situation with Macklin, the Rascals, Seven and Bailey. Seems like Seven and Bailey have been doing what they believe is right all together considering how Nick Nemeth has been caught up with Macklin and the Rascals. Yeah, sure. I mean, they're two stand-up gentlemen, and that's how this all started between Trent Seven and Steve Macklin was he confronted Steve Macklin on the interview said I was present for that. He confronted him about his actions in Puerto Rico where he attacked Nick Nemeth. And he's saying, okay, your morals are out of line. So I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Just like he's teaching Shira right now. Front seven able to slip down the back there. A series of chops. Now Shira gonna put an end to that. Oh, and a close range DDT there by seven. Good lord. The thing about those chops from seven is he'll hit you literally everywhere that he can imagine. And it just uh, has to annoy someone the size and strength of Shira. Shira taking a little bit of a walk, creating a little bit of space between himself and Seven. Slides back into the ring, tries to create space. Oh, and a boot oh, right to the oh, face. Oh my gosh, I think I just saw a tooth fly out of Trent Seven. Oh my gosh. He just lost a whole chunk of his tooth. Oh God. I look close. That you can oh see the chipped tooth. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, of Trent Seven. I saw it fly right out of his mouth. You're right, Jim. Oh, and face first into the canvas. Oh, word. Somebody get him some milk. If you put I'm it in milk, nice. they can reattach it. Is that a thing? Yeah. I don't think that's true. It is. It, I, I, I don't know what Mississippi Dental School you went to. I'm going to destroy you. Now it's Shira. Boot right on the throat there of Trent Seven. And sure is taken over. Oh, spine first into the turnbuckles. That just crumpled Trent Seven. Now Shira just smiling, saying, is this what you got? But Seven oh, refuses to back down. 
even from his knees, the, the force at which he's able to hit him. The referee oh. applying her five count there, forcing Shira to break before the count of five. Nice job by the official. Seven ripped into the corner and crushed by Shira. Mm. Now Shira, Shira. Oh. You heard me? I'm gonna destroy you. Having some harsh words. Well, Shira's just making this personal. It's like you and I talked about a loss to Rhino and a loss to Jake something recently oh. here on Explosion. Shira is oh. looking for the victory in an emphatic way. Wow. Stalling oh. suplex there to seven. Oh. The man from Mustache Mountain is in trouble. Can he get back in it against the Indian Lion here on Explosion? Oh, and we are back here on TNA Explosion in Orlando, Florida. Trent Seven trying to find a way back against Shira, but the Indian Lion retaliates with a spine buster. Oh, to the inside, leg seven able to get the shoulder up. It has been all Shira through the commercial break. Yes, it has. I just, I felt like I hadn't been breathing that whole time. It, it's, it's just brutal. You want to see something now that I've done? Because I want to do something to destroy this shit. has been in some kind of mood here throughout this matchup, G. Oh, he certainly has. Somebody, uh, he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Do you see those red welts across his collarbone? Oh, on top of his chest. Guess who put him there? Trent Seven. Oh! My word. Shots right to the chin. And Seven. Oh, retaliates with a headbutt. Now Seven. Seven's going up to the top turnbuckle here with Shira. Seven, has he done enough to gain oh, control? Oh, Superplex! Hey, yeah. What an effort there by Trent Seven to get the 265 pounder up for the Superplex. And Gia, you talked about it before the break. Sheeran hit Trent Seven so hard that he chipped a tooth. And Seven's been trying to find a way back ever since. Yes, he has, and I've been trying to find the tooth on the floor. Now Seven, Seven trying to get Shira up again. Doesn't have the same leverage point that he did with the Superplex, and Shira just using his strength, dropping his body weight. Oh my gosh. You weren't kidding about those whelps. Good Lord, his chest looks like hamburger meat. Look at the handprint on his left thigh. Oh! Made you look. Pop and bang. And Trent Seven with an opening here against Shira out on the apron. Oh, but these huge bombs, these big shots here by Shira. Continue to keep them in it. I think that's where that imprint came from. Oh, now look at Seven. Refuses to quit. Oh, no, 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 not this, not this. Oh, and a choke slam into the apron. Where steel meets wood. Cover. Oh, and Shira cannot end the matchup. Wow. He's down a tooth, but he's up a shoulder. Seven is still in this matchup, and, and frankly, I can't believe it. And Shira getting really, really frustrated. The official for Shira told him he's got to get away from the throat. Can't continue to apply chokes like this. Seven sends up the hard way. Big back fist there. Seven star Lariat. Tucks the arm, presses the shoulders down, but Shira too strong, able to kick out. It is going to take a lot of force and a lot of power to put away Shira. The resilience of Trent Seven has been remarkable in this matchup, and he keeps bringing it to Shira. And I think that's part of that message that he's trying to send to Steve Macklin. Like, I won't be put down very easily. I will put up one hell of a fight. Up onto the shoulders, trying to set up for the burning hammer. Well, Shira thought about another spine buster and said he's hit there. The spine up onto the shoulders. Oh my gosh. The strength of Trent Seven. Burning hammer. Cover. Trent Seven withstands the Indian Lion. Here is your winner, Trent Seven. Incredible victory for Trent Seven, but we are only just getting started here on Explosion. We've got so much to get to, including
around the ring with yours truly and so much more. Not to mention TNA Plus inside the vault and also the Don West, you've got to be kidding me, trending topics of the week. Let's take a look back at the conclusion of this match of the burning hammer. Unbelievable strength by Trent Seven to connect with that move and put away the 265 pounder. Great victory for Trent Seven and still to come here on Explosion, we'll see Rich Swan, the former TNA World Champion against John Schuyler of the Good Hands. Can Swan get back in the win column like Seven did just now? And now, here on TNA Explosion, it's time for the Don West, you've got to be kidding me, top five trending topics of the week in honor of the late, great TNA Hall of Famer, Don West. At number five, it was recently announced that at No Surrender on Friday, February 23rd, live on TNA Plus, Triller TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders in New Orleans, Decay will defend the Knockouts World Tag Team titles against MK Ultra, Killer Kelly, and Masha Slamovich getting their contractual rematch after having lost the titles to Havoc and Rosemary at Hard to Kill. At number four, recently on TNA Impact, it was a tag team matchup in the Knockouts division. The reigning Knockouts World Champion Jordan Grace and Trinity successful getting the victory against Giselle Shaw and Savannah Evans. It was a wonderful moment for Grace and Trinity who shared some spotlight within WWE's Royal Rumble event and especially for Trinity getting a victory in her hometown of Orlando. At number three, we know that in New Orleans at No Surrender, Moose will defend this TNA World Championship against Alex Shelley in Shelley's contractual rematch following their first bout at Hard to Kill. However, this has now been made a No Surrender rules matchup. If your cornermen throw in the towel on your behalf, then you lose. A very unique circumstance coming at No Surrender. At number two, after Josh Alexander was successful picking up a victory against Allen Angels, it appeared that Josh Alexander was attacked by a fan from out of the impact zone. But in reality, it was Simon Gotch, someone from Josh Alexander's past. Gotch is out to get some revenge on Josh Alexander for a circumstance years ago. And we know that come no surrender in New Orleans, Alexander goes one-on-one -on -one with Gotch. And at number one, TNA Wrestling presents Rebellion live on TNA Plus, Thriller TV, YouTube, and internationally on DAZN on Saturday, April 20th. And on Sunday, April 21st, TNA Wrestling presents Impact. Tickets go on sale Saturday, February 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific time via TNA Wrestling and Ticketmaster. Be sure to join us at Rebellion in Las Vegas. Still to come, it's Rich Swan taking on John Schuyler in our Explosion main event. But up next, it's Around the Ring with Gia Miller. Welcome back to TNA Explosion, and now it's time for Around the Ring with Mean Gia Miller. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Around the Ring. As always, I'm Gia Miller, and today I am joined by the lovely, the incomparable Zaya Brookside. Zaya, thank you so much for joining me today. Hello. Uh, so this show is, it's not about wrestling. I know it's, this is a whole pro wrestling thing that we do here, mm -hmm. uh, but I want to get to know you outside of wrestling, outside of the ring, around the ring, if you will. Okay. That's the name of this show. Uh, and, and my friend Josh Matthews, he has a little saying that he's he's inherited uh, called Strange Bedfellows. And this is just two people that you wouldn't think would get along, okay. uh, that wouldn't really match up, but for some reason do. Mm -hmm. You and I. That is us. We Down are, to a T. We are Strange Bedfellows. I mean, we've only just met, but we have a lot of things in common. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get right to it because one of the first things you told me was that you know what, just tell me about your 18th birthday. It was the accent, you know? <laughs> and I feel like she really like plays it down a little bit. She sounds way more country. And I walked into the room and she's like, being Gia. And I was like, oh my God, it's like a real life cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> like pure fangirling. And everyone usually does that to me about my English accent, mm -hmm, right? Sure. 
And I, she's just there being her amazing, outgoing oh, self at 7.30 stop, in the morning, stop. waking me up for the day. And we got into the conversation of horses. And I had horses growing up. And my 18th birthday party was at the horses, like at the yard, and we had a cowboy theme. And we had like a full blow up, like rodeo book and bronco mm -hmm. and everything. And she was like, we are a match made in heaven. I, I was like, Zaya, did you, I need to tell you, mm -hmm. I make custom cowgirl hats. Yeah, and she did promise me one. Oh, oh, you will have one. It's it's in the works. It's, uh, don't you worry, I've got your address already. Oh, don't, don't yes. ask Don't ask how I got it. I, I have yeah. my sources. But I, I need to know how, because like, the traditional, like the American cowgirl, <laughs> and then the British, like equ equestrians, it's not quite the same thing. Oh, there's, it's so different. Huge, how how did this uh, infatuation with like the cowgirl cowboy aesthetic begin? Because it's way more fun. Like I feel like our version of like equestrian is all like la di da. Sure, you know it's what the, I mean. It's, it's the very clean and the, cut and the blazer. Yes, yeah, and yeah, we're yeah. very fancy and posh sure it's very posh out there yeah and I was like no I'm like I want to be cool I want to get my cowboy boots on and wear the cut off denim shorts yeah you like the rough and oh, tumble I like yes have you ever I seen I like the ranch <laughs> oh that's good <laughs> she's got a great accent she sounds just like me if there's ever uh oh, sweet old uh, if I ever go missing we're just gonna put a g in front of your name and, yes. and you'll be you'll be Jaya yeah and then you can just take over my job if you want to but uh <laughs> You know, it, it, it gets it gets a little crazy. I don't think I could do your job. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I'm sorry. We got to get back to the topic yes. at hand. And, and this, I do have a really important question for you. Okay, I'm scared. So, you're you are true. You are a true cowgirl because it's it's all about. It's not about where you're born. It's all about the heart. I want to know officially if you would like to join my posse. I can. Oh, you. Absolutely. You are my I'm in. you are my right hand in my posse. <laughs> Absolutely. We are gonna be riding off into the sunset together. Like a Rhinestone, Rhinestone cowboy. cowboy. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are just uh, she's my little honky tonk angel. I mean uh, okay, we, we gotta get a little more questions, more questions. Country music. Yes. Right, does this does the love spread into country music oh, as well? You know it's country. Who is your favorite country music artist? Oh, it's gonna sound so cliche. But right now, it has to be Luke Combs. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's incredible. Really, amazing. Every single song. Yeah. Rock me like a hurricane. Uh huh. Oh yeah, better together. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Forever. All right, so a little, a little shout a little out to everything. to Luke Combs, Luke Combs here. Well, maybe we can get him in the in the sure. impact zone. Uh, you, you never know who's going to show up in TNA. You so. never know. And, that would be crazy. And you know, there is a there is a, a country music artist that that does frequent. DNA from time to time, mm -hmm. uh, Maggie James. Uh, oh, yes. She 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 might come through. Uh, I did see a maybe an, she can teach me. Uh, I think I just saw Tasha Steele's pick her head out from behind a door over there. Oh yeah. Uh, but but we'll so we'll we'll not talk about that. We can't talk about cowboys, but we can talk about cowgirls. For right? for now, we are the resident cowgirls. Yes. Of TNA. Yes, we are. We are the new posse. You're my little honky tonk angel. Yeah. And I think everybody's excited just and for you I to be here. And I have an acoustic guitar that I've been trying to play since lockdown. Baby, I got a fiddle. Yes. Oh. I'll play, you sing. Oh, this is... It's uh, a whole thing. Everybody's getting a part two because this is... So many developments. Six minutes is not <laughs> enough. Zaya, you're wonderful. We're this so journey. excited to have you in the TNA locker room, in the Knockouts locker room, uh, as part of the sisterhood, as part of the family. And we've only gotten to see a little bit more of you. Yes. I can't wait. This is just a little glimpse. Just a little taste. Just a little. Just a little, you know. But anyway. We'll see you next time. This has been Around the Ring with Zaya Brookside. Up next, we go back in time. It's From the Vault, presented by TNA+. Plus. Welcome back to TNA Explosion, and now it's time for From the Vault, presented by TNA+. Plus. As soon as Angle gets back up to his feet again, the power behind that shot into the corner, so much that Anderson drops to a knee, goes right back on top for a pin and two. 
Well, Kurt Angle, we, we've seen it for years. He can take so much punishment to his body, multiple surgeries on his neck. He's had, you know, several injuries in his career, but he's such great condition, he fights back hard. Wow. Quick, Talk about spinning the neck. neck breaker. Yep. And as Anderson goes for the cover, Sting able to pull him off before three. Seemed like Angle was a little hot early ahead at Hulk Hogan. You see that? Because this thing ended up being a three-way match. A little difference of opinion, it seemed, huh? Yeah, Hulk tried to just motivate. Angle, I think Hulk told him the right thing. I mean, you got to realize who you are if you're Kurt Angle. You got to be confident in that. Multiple-time world champion, Olympic gold medalist. Kurt was just angry. With Angle down, it's now Anderson and Sting. Sting comes to the corner. Anderson catches him with the boot. The quick go behind leads oh, to Angle hell? sliding in. Oh! And how about oh. Angle suplexing both challengers, both Sting and Anderson? That was pretty damn impressive right there. A couple of Germans wow. suplexing one throw. That was. I've done my share of suplexes, if you haven't heard. Never done that. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That was cool, unless your name is Anderson or Sting. That was, that was sweet. Champ back in control. He's gonna focus his attention on Sting. The boots, the kicks to the side of the head. A weakened Sting, slow to recover. And angle right back on him again. Offense of Angle. It, it might be delivered at this point, but damn, it's been effective. Is he going to go and try and snap Ooh. off the suplex? Successful. Leads to the lateral press. Yeah, that was nice snap in that, in that suplex there. Kurt really popped his hips in, stepped in quick. Now, this is where Kurt's at home on the mat. Legs in, double grapevine right there. Got himself a rear chin lock tightly applied across the jawline. That's key. You notice where the arm is placed, where Kurt's forearm is placed. It's across the jawline of Sting, not across the throat. He's wearing down his chin. And in terms of that game plan, as you said, this is right up Angle's alley, isn't it? He's at home on the mat. That's what Kurt Angle, in my opinion, was put on the surf to do, is wrestle. Since he's a young kid, he's been successful. Referee Brian Hebner checking Come on, Come on. on Sting. He's at two. Ah! But still life left in Sting. Angle maintaining the hold and the grip. Sting sliding around and trying to escape. Series of elbows for the midsection and then to the head. Enable Sting to escape and then come right back. The clotheslines. That one after the other. Sting, man, really bringing those, those short clotheslines. Oh, another Stinger spread. That's the second one that hit Angle's body in this match. After the splash, it's a DDT. And the ensuing cover for Got two. It. Anderson flying across from outside to stop before the three. Again, because that would have been the end of the opportunity for Mr. Anderson. Oh, look at that. Anderson right there channeling Chuck Norris. That was impressive. Anderson going to slide Sting back in and hook the far leg, but Angle still able to come in and stop before three. Elevation up, maybe an Angle slam attempt to stop. Looking for a mic check, but Angle done his homework. Counted out. Uh-oh, war boy. Suplex number one from Angle. Still on contact with Anderson, catches yeah. two. I got a funny feeling Mr. Anderson is gonna get a steady diet of German suplexes here. Three from Angle, who turns around and now goes for Sting. Wow, look at this. That was bitch. German one for Sting. Two as well. Looked like Kurt tried to turn Sting to his shoulder to drive him on his shoulder a little bit on that last one. That was straight back. A third German suplex, and Angle covers four. How about on Anderson now? Whoa! Mm. Mm. Kurt just dished out a lot of punishment in a short amount of time with all those German suplexes. That takes a lot out of your body if you're a normal human. Where Kurt's a little bit 
Got the cyborg. <laughs> Angle sees that Anderson's positioned up on top. Catches him with a couple of rights, and Kurt's gonna follow up. Sting tries to regroup as Angle gonna try and suplex him. He's gonna pop this off here. Go for a big superplex. He's gonna try and pop it off. Anderson, Anderson yeah. really fighting back hard. Throwing everything at, at Angle, including a headbutt from the top. And before Anderson oh. can come flying off the top, the quick recovery by Angle. Throws Anderson across the ring, gets two. Oh, oh man. Wow, that was close, Mike. Angle, right back now on Sting, who floats over. And then, oh, Sting oh tosses the oh, line. Wow. Oh, 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 man. Well, that's a dangerous landing. Flying over the top and down to the floor. So well, you could blow out a knee is now Sting going to go oh, Scorpion oh, 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 oh. on. Sting yeah. going to try and go Scorpion on Anderson, but Anderson won't let him turn over. Well, more to look like Anderson was pinned. Scorpion applied. Sting's got Anderson. We'd have a new champion here if Anderson taps. Fighting for his life, trying to get to the ropes. Oh my God, now look at the Sting. Pulling Anderson back to the middle of the ring. No signs of him letting go of that scorpion. Cinches it on even tighter. You can sense Anderson's hand quivering as he considers the tap out. But Angle able to come in. Shot to the back of Sting. Angle slammed by Kurt. There we Angle go, here we go. Sting gets two. Oh! Man, that, that was extremely close. Angle stalks and measures. Slides in behind Anderson. The wild shot by Anderson doesn't connect. Ooh. But then Angle hits the angle slam on Anderson. Pin two. I mean, Kurt's got to be thinking, what the hell else do I got to do here to get a victory on one of these guys? Just dropping bodies left and right here. Angle truly tested in this three-way matchup with the two challengers. And the Olympic gold medalist says it's time for the straps to come down. Oh my God, that's it. They'll tear that ankle right off the bone. Sting better really think about tapping out right now. Angle applies the submission hold, the ankle lock. Sting again considers the tap out. Here is screaming through the pain. Yeah, Sting's in just tons of world of pain. Oh, nice counter. Whoa, 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 Momentum whoa, whoa. Sting leads to the mic check from Anderson, who covers, gets two. Got him. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. And he had him, too. Now, Anderson goes right at Sting. Takes him up. Almost lost him. Almost lost him. Sting's trying to fight him off. And does. Oh. Drop down. Pin. Sting covers. Has Anderson for two. And Angle slides in to break it up and pull Sting off the cover. Angle, he's not just pulling off the cover. He's just bringing him out the. What, 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 what the hell? What did, out the the hell? what did Hogan? What did Hogan have there? What did he put? in the face or maybe in the eyes of Sting. I could tell, I have no clue. A blinded Sting. Wait a minute, Wait a minute. he thinks he, he's got the referee. And from behind, the low blow, the cheap shot by Angle. Kurt follows up, hits the Angle slam on Sting. Angle covers two, and Kurt Angle keeps the title. The winner of the match, and still heavyweight champion of the world, Kurt. Angle! I'm gonna say it again. We saw it back-to-back -back weeks on Impact. Kurt Angle, because of the interference of Hulk Hogan, Kurt Angle escapes with the World Heavyweight title.
Up next, the former TNA world champion, Rich Swan goes one-on-one -on -one with John Schuyler of the Good Hands in our main event. Thank you for tuning in on TNA Plus and TNA social and digital platforms. Right now, it's time for our main event. Uh, we are back here on Explosion, a former TNA world champion set for action. Unfortunately, on the wrong end of the matchup against Jason Hotch of the Good Hands. Now he's sitting face John Schuyler, the other half of the Good Hands. But during that matchup, AJ Francis was on commentary. Yes, and more importantly, Rich Swan came out to the aid of Joe Hendry this week on TNA, on Impact Wrestling. All right, now Rich Swan trying to figure out how he can get back to his winning ways against the Good Hands. His opponent being a... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Rich Swan, some people say that you're in a bit of a slump. But I don't want you to focus on the negatives, Rich. I want you to focus on the positives. I want you to focus on the positives, Rich, like the fact that you're from Baltimore, Maryland, not the fact that you live in Orlando, Florida. Rich, I don't want you to focus on losing tonight. I want you to be proud when you lose to this good hand. Well, John Schuyler feeling extremely confident. Schuyler ready to go one on one. Oh, God, not again. Brother, this guy stinks. Wait, did y'all get that? And we are being joined here once again on TNA Explosion by AJ Francis. AJ, how, uh, how wonderful it is to see you again here on Explosion. You know what? I'm so nice I had to do it twice. I came out here to join you, give you my lovely presence. Your presence is already lovely. We'll talk about you later. AJ, this was uh, an interesting week for you on TNA Impact. Do yeah. you think Joe Henry uh, surprised you? No, I mean, Joe Henry takes the low-hanging fruit because that's all he has. Uh, Joe Hendry doesn't make more money than me. He doesn't look better than me. He doesn't get more women than me. He's not more accomplished than me. There's nothing he does better than me. So I, I expect those kind of low blows. I don't know. That song was pretty catchy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like a, like, yeah, it was catchy like a disease. Oh, kick right to the face there of John Skyler. I feel like I've heard it before. Uh, Rich, Probably all his songs sound the same. Uh, Rich Swan did get involved there. It didn't exactly look like uh, Rich Swan has come around to your way of thinking, AJ. Because he hasn't really thought it through yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, he he's still out here doing the same things. He's dancing for these people that don't really care about him. He's a great performer. He's a former world champion. He's one of the best people here, and yet he can't get a win. Why is that? So do you still have faith that he may come around? I know that he could come around if he just takes one second out of his day to listen to me. Hold on, and now Jason Hodge, who was able to defeat Rich Swan recently here on Explosion. Some would say thanks to you distracting Rich Swan, you being AJ. See, that, 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 that's a terrible narrative. I'm not a fan of narratives. Oh. 
That was a lariat, though, and that was beautiful. Off the distraction there by Hodge. Skyler finds an opening and nearly pins Swan. Here's the cover, tucks the leg and a kick out. You're going to need more than that to pin a former world champion like Rich Swan. So you've tried to get Swan uh, to be under your wing, which I find interesting. Uh, what about Diener? What's going on there? You know, uh, that's just uh, two trains crossing in the, in the night. You know what I'm saying? We have mutual problems with the same people because, you know, uh, Joe Hendry, these people love him, but he's actually a terrible person if you really listen to what he says. Oh, I don't think so. Well, sunset flip. Swan trying to get the win here. Kick out at two by Skyler. Uh, he told me, he actually gave me a lot of right information on you. Oh, yeah, like what? Well, he said that you were going after the Taki title soon. Uh, I, that is tacky, so I, I believe that he said that. Oh, maybe it was the goldfish. I, I'm a big fan of goldfish. The golden boy with big, the golden tongue. Big right hand right to the face of Rich Swan. Apparently, they're good hands. Justin! I just don't think the, the branding that you were trying to get out there, AJ, on TNA Impact this week, I just don't think it's going to, you know, land the way you want it to. I believe that it will. I think that I could be the biggest brand in TNA. T-N-A-J. I'm telling you, it's the way that you need to have it. Boy, that just feels sacrilegious in this company. Look at him. Oh! That, that's a palm strike. Is that even legal? It is legal. Oh! Now he could... Good hand delivering an open hand. He could deliver a closed fist. This isn't like wrestling in Japan, for instance, but... See, I'm a big uh, fan of a cold, closed fist, especially with a big ring on the pinky, like that. Right that is uh, an excessive ring you have there. Yeah, I got a couple of them. I'll give you one one day. Oh. oh. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you. Your ring would go on a different finger for me. <laughs> oh, oh. Belly to back suplex here by okay. Skyler. AJ, I thought you might be able to sympathize with Rich Swan. Granted, you played for multiple franchises mm -hmm. in the National Football League. You played at the University of Maryland, which uh, you know, really doesn't do much within the Big Ten ranks. But wow. you've lost games before. You've been in losing slumps as a player. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't you sympathize As a wrestler, with too. You know, the thing is, to get out of those snags, all you have to do is really refocus, come up with a new game plan. His new game plan needs to be listening to me, taking time out of his day to recognize that I have his best interest in heart. Maybe he just needs a little motivation. Maybe maybe he just needs some kind words. Somebody, somebody in his corner to tell him great things like Roll Tide. See, Roll Tide. Mm -mm -mm. Go Tigers. Anyway, the thing about the thing about what he needs is someone to tell him the truth. Like that was an that, amazing. That kick. was the truth. Oh, and a kick out there by Skyler. See, the problem is all these people out here cheer when he dances, but they don't do anything for him. The dancing doesn't do anything for him. I'm a fan of dancing, but not for these people. AJ, I have to disagree with you because a few years ago, it was Rich Swan who went all the way to the TNA World Championship, and the fans being behind him was a big reason why. Yeah, and Shoulders how's that down. going for him now? Wait a minute. Oh, now Skyler to the outside. Oh, oh same oh, shot. She's clear. Cover. And oh. a kick out by Swan. These guys are getting after him. This is why I'm here in TNA. I love this kind of action. Total non staff action. Speaking of uh, action, when are you going to get in action? When the money's right. Oh, the money's right. The when the money is right. I'm a big money fighter. I need a big money fight. Because you've been paying to be on our program. But that's that's chump change. I mean, that's your side. <laughs> Shot right to the face by Swan. Oh. Skyler with a response. Changing blows. Hold on. Oh. 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 Swan. See, I can't do that. Oh, knee right to the face there by Skyler. Oh, oh man. Oh, and that. Swan. Great rotation there. and nailed that kick. I mean, that's the thing about Rich Swan. There's not many people that can do what Swanee can do. Absolutely, that's why he doesn't need to belittle himself by talking to these people and dancing. Hold on a second, now he's setting up in the corner like he did a Hold few on. weeks ago against Hotch. This is where you distracted him last time, AJ. Hold Maybe you should sit down. No, oh, let him no. do his no, thing. No, what are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. Francis went after Hotch. Oh, what the fracas at ringside did distract. Rich Swan, Skyler's trying to take over. Francis is choking the life out of Hodge. It's just absolute chaos. Francis is all over Hodge. And Rich is in trouble. Skyler with a rolling sent out on Swan. Cover. Skyler's beating Swan. Here's your winner, John Skyler. I mean, once again, it was a distraction.
distraction at ringside that led to Swan's loss. Uh, I mean, certainly this isn't intentional. Uh, I mean, this time around, it appeared AJ Francis did have good intentions in that he went after Jason Hodge. Sure, I just, but he knew it wasn't gonna go well. I, I just don't understand this. Another disappointing outcome for AJ Francis and especially Rick Swan.